And then there were two. We have two Chaos Mystery Boxes today, and we are having a double dose of Chaos here on MTG Unpacked. These are my vision for how I think a mystery box should be. And the patrons today we have Marlana McCown and Cosmo. So we're going to roll for which box they get. So Marlana, if we get one to three, you'll get the first box. Otherwise, you'll get the second one. So good luck. So you get the second one. We've rolled a five. All right, which means Cosmo gets that one, so let's get stuck into it. And with me to do the pack blessings today, we have Sarkan. As you may have guessed by now, he's part of the theme this month, along with Chandra. So we've got some nice pulls so far for the patrons. We start off Ultimate Masters, Khans, okay, Dragons. Speaking of Chandra, nice foil, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Kaladesh, Corset 2019, and War of the Spark. So we're going to do the pack blessings like so. And we'll leave Ultimate for last as usual. Let's do, we'll do Core first, Khans, War, Dragons, and Kaladesh. How about that ordering? And let's take a look at the Chandra here. So this is from War of the Spark actually. Haven't seen a foil of this one before. Chandra Fire Artisan, very shiny. This is the pre release version. Legendary Planeswalker Chandra, four loyalty for four. Whenever one or more loyalty counters are removed from Chandra, she deals that much damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. Her plus one exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn, minus seven exile the top seven cards of your library. You may play them this turn. Very cool. Very shiny, like that one. All right, so there we are, Malana. Let's move on here to Corset 2019. Good luck. Hopefully we can get some more Planeswalkers. Okay, we start off with Act of Treason. Daybreak Chaplain, Scholar of Stars, Oaken Form, Doomed Dissenter, Walking Corpse. Snapping Drake, Gearsmith Guardian, Druid of the Cowl, and incidentally, who is looking forward to Core Set 2020? What do you think of the set so far? Leave a note in the comments. Smelt, and Uncommon's Fountain of Renewal, Reclamation Sage, Surge Mare, and the rare is Desecrated Tomb, so it's an artifact for three. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one black bat creature token with flying. Okay, so an army of bats could be a thing. Woodland stream and an elf warrior. Okay, moving on to Khans. Come on, fetchy, fetchy. I don't think we've pulled any fetch lands yet, so this could be the day. Weave Fate, Smoke Teller, Sedisi's Pet. Oh, I got two cards there. Mystic of the Hidden Way, Summit Prowler, Sultai Banner, Alabaster Kirin, Thornwood Falls, Jeskai Wind Scout, and Uncommon's Dazzling Ramparts, Seeker of the Way, Windstorm, and rare is Flying Crane Technique, Instant 4 6. Untap all creatures you control, they gain flying and double strike until end of turn. All right, and a nice foil mountain with a mountain and a handy guide here to the various tribes in Tarkir. So there we go. Okay, next we have War of the Spark. And incidentally, in case you haven't noticed already, patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, as well as planeswalkers. So, I'm having trouble coordinating my pack opening, you would think, having just opened some a moment ago, I would it be in the rhythm, but sometimes not. Kiora's Dam Breaker, Raging Crunch, Gideon's Sacrifice, Aid the Fallen, Primordial Worm, Spell Gorger, weird, wow, look at that yellow, that's really popping today, Arboreal Grazer, Herald of the Dread Horde, Prismite, Uncommon's Merfolk Skydiver, Bond of Insight, 
Interplanar Beacon, and you know what that means, people. Rare or Mythic Planeswalker, it is! Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. Legendary Planeswalker Soren, four loyalty for four. As long as it's your turn, creatures some Planeswalkers you control have lifelink. His plus two does one damage to target player or Planeswalker, minus X return target creature card with convert mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a vampire in addition to its other types. All right, and a foil, honor the god pharaoh, with an island and a goblin token. Yes, that's really what we were looking for, the goblin tokens. Okay, let's move things around here. Dragons up next. I think it's uh, Collected Company is the big hit in this one. If I recall correctly, we we'll start off with Grave Purge, Hardened Berserker, Sandstorm Charger, Collagan Skirmisher, Monastery Lawmaster, Servant of the Scale, Sandcrafter Mage, Ojatai's Breath, Sprinting Warbrute, Stampeding Elk Herd, Uncommon Sight Beyond Sight, Sight of the Scale Lords, there's a lot of sights going on, Bell Toll Dragon, and the rare is Gleam of Our Authority, Enchantment Aura for two, Enchant creature. The enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each, plus one, plus one counter on other creatures you control. It has enchanted creature, has vigilance, and pay a white tap bolster one. That's a new one to me. What is that? To bolster one. Choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay, so pumping up one of your weaker creatures. And a swamp and a goblin token with a fantastic haircut. Look at this dude. I want to know who his hairstylist is so I can get mine done like that. Okay, next, Kaladesh. Ah, Kaladesh. So much promise, but we shall see what we get today. Spontaneous Artist Built to Last, Wily Bandar, Morphous Squad, Commencement of Festivities, Chandra's Parahelix, Prophetic Prism, Die Young, Self-Assembler, Gear Seeker Serpent, Demolition Stomper, first the Uncommons, Shrewd Negotiation, Experimental Aviator, and the rare is Aether Storm Rock. It's a creature bird for four, has flying, it's a 3-3, whenever it or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you get one en energy. Remember energy back in the day, whenever it attacks, you may pay two energy. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on it and tap up to one target creature. Defending player controls. Okay. And a mountain and a servo token. Who is glad the days of energy are behind us? Do you think it'll make a comeback? Or are you hoping it'll make a comeback? That is very interesting. I wonder if they'll bring it back. Okay. Ultimate Masters, all our hopes and dreams are here. We have a spirit token. And a foil, Martyr of Sands. And the rare is Seismic Assault, enchantment for three red. Discard a land card, it deals two damage to any target. All right. And Ancestors Chosen, the Uncommons Emancipation Angel, Magmore. Ooh, that's creepy, it looks like something out of Doom. Commons, Just the Wind, Faith's Fetters. Olivia's Dragoon, Offal Snout, Shed Weakness, Dark Dabbling, Lotus Eye Mystics, A Crow and Crusader, Martyr of Sands again, Undying Rage, and that is it. Alright, so there we are, Malana. Those are your pulls for this month. Thank you for being a patron once again. We'll tuck all that away in your envelope. And a nice Chandra there as well. Very cool. And next up we have Cosmo. What goodness do we have here for Cosmo? Thank you for being a patron, sir. We'll dig into it. Last Chaos Pack for the month. And stay tuned, next month a brand new theme. See if you can guess. I know some of the patrons probably already know, but everyone else can guess. We get War of the Spark, Kaladesh, Dragon's Attack here. Nice foil, another dragons, Khans, and Iconic Masters. Okay, 
So we will do the pack blessing with the man himself. We'll set him aside. Okay, we'll do iconic last. Uh, let's see, we'll have drag we've got two dragons. We'll put one there, one there, war cards dragon like that. Okay, so let's switch these around, Cosmo, and dig into the foil here. A nice Sarkhan Unbroken from Dragons of Tarkir. So we'll get, oh, look at the foiling on that. Fantastic. Planeswalker Sarkhan, four loyalty for five mana. His plus one, draw a card, then add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Minus two, put a four, four red dragon creature, took him with flying onto the battlefield. His ultimate, minus eight. Search your library for any number of dragon creature cards and put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Very cool. He has a thing for dragons. Fantastic. Okay, so we will dig into some Khans next. Still hoping for the elusive fetch lands. Hope we can get at least one this month. We start off with Bloodfire Expert, Feet of Resistance, Cancel, Swift Kick, Hooting Mandrels, there we are when we declare victory with the Crazy Pools, Disowned Ancestor, Abzan Guide, Unyielding Krumar, Highland Game, Tranquil Cove, Uncommons Hordling Outburst, some Goblins, Incremental Growth, Witness of the Ages, and yes, finally, Polluted Delta. Tap, pay one life, sack it, search your library for an island or swamp card and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Yes, finally got our fetch land at long last. Okay, a swamp and a helpful tip card for Khans of Tarkir. All right. Ah, very nice. Moving right along, Dragons of Tarkir. I don't think they have fetch lands in this one. So that right there, that those two cards, pretty much Cosmo is laughing. So we'll see. See if we can add to the tally there. We have Volcanic Rush, Dromoka Warrior, Coat with Venom, Contradict, Glade Watcher, Tormenting Voice, Keeper of the Lens, Reckless Imp, Ancient Carp, Enduring Victory, and Uncommons Press the Advantage, Draconic Roar, Guru Lurker, and rare is Dragon Tempest. It's an enchantment for two. Whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it gains haste until end of turn. And whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player, where X is the number of dragons you control. Okay, so you want to have a Nice dragon army built up by that point. A swamp and a morph token. Okay, on to War of the Spark. And when do you think they will reprint Fetchlands? Do you think that's ever coming? They've got to eventually, right? In one of these premium, maybe uh, premium sets, they'll go with a, a Modern Horizons 2 or something. Okay, next we have Summit Sprint, War Screecher. I can get these cards apart. Teferi's Time Twist, Charity Extractor, Crunch Wrangler, Avon Eternal, Burning Prophet, Obnixus's Cruelty, Jaya's Greeting, hello, let me do some cooking for you, come into my kitchen, Totally Lost, Uncommon's Bond of Revival, Challenger Troll, yes, you have been trolled, there it is. Teo the Shield Mage, nice uh, Planeswalker, and the rare is Mizium Tank. Artifact Vehicle 3 2 for 3 has Trample. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, it becomes an artifact creature and gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. You can crew up for 1 with an island and a wall token. Okay, Kaladesh. See if we can pull a Chandra, that would be hilarious if we actually got a Chandra. Well, let's, let's not just aim for a Chandra, we'll aim high for a foil version. Okay, we have Aether Theorist, Reckless Fireweaver, Inspired Charge, Aether Trade Winds, Morphous Squad, Attune with Aether, remember that one? Ah, the good old days. Torch Gauntlet, Foundry Screecher, 
Prakada Pillabug, Glint Sleeve Artisan, Uncommons, Wisp Weaver Angel, Brazen Scourge, Refurbish, and the rare is Skyship Stalker, Creature Dragon for four, has flying. So basically you've got a menu of options here. You can either give it plus one, plus zero until end of turn, gain first strike until end of turn, or haste until end of turn. And I believe you could probably pay all three of those and get all three of those things. So that would be pretty nice. All right, and an island and a construct token. Moving on to dragons now. And my pack opening skills are deteriorating as the video progresses. How do you open a pack? Not this way, I tell you, that's, oh, that's gotta be the worst pack opening ever. Okay, next we have Glaring Aegis, Krasi Sadist, Lose Calm, Enoch Artillerist, Monastery Lawmaster, Artful Maneuver, Revealing Wind, Vandalize, Fate Forgotten, Flatten, Inspiring Call for the Uncommon, Salt Road Ambushes, Ultimate Price, and Rare is Colligan's Command. So it's an instant for three, choose two. So you get to either return target card, creature card from your graveyard to your hand, target player discards a card, destroy target artifact, or deal two damage to target creature or player. All right, very nice. And an island and a zombie token. Okay, finally wrapping things up for the month. I hope it's a big finish. Otherwise, I'm going to be very disappointed in you, Iconic Masters. You have disappointed me over and over and over and over again. Bought far too many boxes when it came out. You can check the uh, channel history. Lots of Iconic Masters. Okay, Amass the Components, Mark of Mutiny, Survival Cash, Repeal, Ivy Elemental, Balustrade Spy, Dark Steel Axe, Evolving Wilds, Blinding Mage, Reeve Soul, and Uncommon's Jungle Barrier, Illusory Ambusher, Palladium Mirror, and the rare is a Savage Born Bulk, Hydra. Creature Hydra, 0, zero for X, a red and a green, has double strike, enters battlefield with X, plus one, plus one counters on it, and for one, and either a green or red, put a plus one, plus one counter on Savage Born Hydra, at its ability, only any time you could cast a sorcery and a foil. You needed another one of these, right? Another, that is a funny coincidence. Fury Charm Foil, there we are, sir. And a dragon token. All right, so that wraps it up. A nice highlight here, Polluted Delta. We finally got it. Thank you guys for being patrons and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.